When Comet 31-Atlas was first detected, it was supposed to be another icy wanderer, drifting harmlessly through the vast emptiness of space. But over the past few months, something strange has been happening, something that no one, not even NASA, can explain. Four of humanity's most powerful eyes in the sky, the James Webb Space Telescope, Hubble, Chandra X-ray Observatory, and ESA's Gaia mission have all turned their gaze toward 31-Atlas, and what they found has sent a wave of panic through the scientific community. Because the comet is darkening, not dimming from distance, not fading from solar light, it's absorbing light. The latest readings show its albedo, the measure of how much light it reflects, has dropped to near zero. In simple terms, it's turning black, as if it's swallowing every photon that touches it. At first, astronomers thought it was dust, maybe the comet had released a cloud of dark material, but Webb's infrared sensors saw no such cloud, no debris, no scattering, no tail. Instead, they detected a smooth, uniform darkness, like an event horizon forming around the comet itself. The James Webb Telescope's near-infrared spectrometer measured wavelengths bouncing off 31-slash-atlas and found something chilling. Light wasn't bouncing off at all. Instead, it was being pulled in, consumed, as if the comet were covered in an invisible material designed to trap energy. NASA scientists tried to make sense of it. Some suggested it might be a layer of carbon-rich ice or a dark compound forming on the surface. But that theory didn't hold up because 31-slash-atlas had already been observed up close during its last perihelion. Back then, it was bright, ordinary, but now something had changed. Chandra's X-ray telescope detected weak emissions, faint, pulsing energy signatures coming from the nucleus. Not random bursts, not background radiation, but rhythmic, repeating pulses like the ticking of a machine. Meanwhile, ESA's Gaia spacecraft, usually used to track star positions, recorded something no comet should ever do. 31-slash-Atlas had stopped rotating. For a body hurtling through space, that's impossible without an external force. Comet spin due to gravitational torque, outgassing, and uneven heating. But the data showed its rotational velocity had dropped to zero. Frozen mid-spin, as if an invisible hand had grabbed it. In a joint press conference, scientists called it a stabilization event. But internally, leaked emails told a different story. One message from an ESA astrophysicist read, it's not a stabilization event, it's control. Something, or someone, is holding it still. The phrase spread like wildfire through online forums, private astronomy groups, and deep space tracking communities. Was 31-slash-Atlas alive, or was it being operated? Hubble's latest optical images only deepened the mystery. The comet appeared darker than the background of space itself, even with exposure adjustments, its surface remained a perfect void, a black hole in the shape of a comet. When scientists enhanced the contrast to extreme levels, a pattern began to emerge. Faint, hexagonal geometry across its surface. Too symmetrical to be natural. Too perfect to be coincidence. Each hexagonal region emitted a pulse of faint electromagnetic energy, synchronized with the others, like a heartbeat rippling across its structure. That's when the unthinkable happened. On October 10th, all four telescopes, Webb, Hubble, Chandra, and Gaia, reported the same anomaly at the exact same moment. The comet emitted a burst of radiation, brief but powerful enough to blind Webb's detectors for 0.7 seconds. When visibility returned, the comet's entire spectrum had shifted. It was no longer reflecting any known wavelength. 31-slash-Atlas had gone completely dark. NASA quickly labeled it a photometric anomaly. But behind the scenes, scientists were terrified because right after that blackout, Voyager 1 and 2, both in interstellar space, detected a faint matching pulse in their instruments. The same frequency, the same rhythm, the same signal. It was as if the darkness of 31-slash-Atlas had reached across billions of miles, 
whispering through space. And as the data poured in, one terrifying realization began to take shape. This wasn't just a comet changing color, it was evolving. For weeks, the world's most advanced telescopes continued monitoring 31P Atlas, but the darkness around it kept growing. It wasn't expanding like a cloud or a dust storm. It was radiating, an invisible field consuming every wavelength of light that came near it. Scientists began calling it the void zone. And the strangest part? Within that darkness, Webb detected motion. Thermal scans revealed something stirring beneath the surface, a structure forming, geometric, precise. The comet wasn't dying, it was transforming. When analyzed in the infrared, its heat pattern didn't match any known ice or rock behavior. Instead, the temperature distribution was deliberate, uniform, almost as if being regulated by an internal system. NASA's Astrobiology Division couldn't ignore it any longer. They formed a classified task group under the codename Project Umbra, Latin for shadow. Their mission, to find out what 31P Atlas really is. By cross-referencing data from the four telescopes, scientists built a 3D thermal model of the comet. The core showed hollow cavities arranged in near-perfect symmetry, radiating outward from a central point, almost like a machine's internal design. Then, something incredible happened. For the first time in recorded history, 31P Atlas began emitting sound. Radio telescopes picked up ultra-low frequency waves that, when converted into audio, formed a steady, rising hum, like a distant engine towering up. And embedded in that frequency was a pattern, repeating, deliberate, intelligent. After weeks of decoding, the signal translated into binary coordinates. But the location wasn't random. It pointed directly at the sun. 31P Atlas was aligning itself with the solar axis, as if preparing for something. As it did, the dark field around it started pulsing, once every 61 seconds. With every pulse, nearby starlight dimmed slightly, suggesting the object was bending or absorbing local spacetime. The effect was measurable, real. Then, on October 16th, the Chandra X-ray Observatory detected an enormous burst of energy, the kind that usually comes from a pulsar or black hole, emanating directly from 31P Atlas. When Webb captured the event, the images were staggering. The darkness split, revealing a ring of blinding white light before collapsing back into itself. It was like watching a portal open and then close. NASA immediately classified the images, but leaks began circulating online, blurry stills showing what appeared to be a circular aperture forming at the comet's center. Inside that aperture, a faint silhouette of structured geometry, not random, but engineered. The global space community erupted with theories. Some said it was a dormant alien probe reactivating, others believed it was a natural wormhole formation, and a few feared it was something far more dangerous, a mechanism designed to harvest energy from stars. Within days, the dark field around 31P Atlas began expanding again, but this time it wasn't absorbing light, it was releasing it. Four telescopes observed faint golden streams flowing outward, almost like tendrils, connecting briefly to nearby cosmic dust before retracting. It looked alive. And then, as suddenly as it began, the comet stopped emitting entirely. Silence, stillness, total darkness. The data stream from all four telescopes went blank for seven minutes, the exact duration of the solar synchronization signal recorded earlier. When systems came back online, 31P Atlas had changed course again. Its trajectory had shifted by nearly 0.05 AU, an impossible movement for an object of its size without propulsion. Yet the data didn't mie. It was now heading away from the sun toward interstellar space, the same path taken by Voyager 2. And just before disappearing from Webb's visible range, the comet flashed once, a single pulse of pure white light. When scientists decoded that pulse, they found embedded data, the exact binary structure of the human Arecibo message sent to the stars in 1974. Our message reflected back, as if 31P Atlas had received it and was responding. Today, the object remains silent, invisible, its location uncertain. But deep in NASA's telemetry servers, the instruments from Webb, Hubble, Chandra, and Gaia all agree on one chilling fact. The darkness wasn't random, it was communication. A signal sent not through sound or radio, but through the absence of light. And if the recent faint pulses detected from deep 